What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you concerning Andre Ward and Kovalev. Um, <clears throat> they have agreed to fight June 17th. For you, those who don't know, um, that was a controversial decision on the on the first fight. You know, I had uh, Kovalev be winning barely, but by the knockdown by one point, and in fact, the judges had it being one point for Ward winning unanimously. So, the thing about this fight that needs to happen, I'm glad it's happening sooner instead of later. Um, and the only reason really it's taking place because of the rematch clause from uh, Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev had a rematch clause in the contract, which had to be, it, 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 it had to be honored. So, here it is. The question is, would have been honored. Would Andre Ward fight? Want to fight this guy again? And technically, he really didn't have to fight him, you know, because he was talking about retiring, you know, after that fight, you know. But if he continued fighting, he would have to fight Sergey for his next fight. So that tells you that he's not retiring. The only question I have is why would Andre Ward, you know, go with you know, decide to retire after that particular fight? You know, if he won, you know, definitely by a dynamic fashion or just uh, or decisively, you know, so you won't arguably be like, no, he beat Sergey Kovalev. Then retire. That's fine. Because, you know, I mean, I get it. You know, I've heard Andre Ward's speeches. I've heard the things that he say. He, you know, the brother makes a lot of sense. You know, it's just something that he does you know, in his life, and not, it's not who he is, you know, that's just a job that he does, you know what I'm saying, and you know, you have to separate one from the other, and some people can, but some people can't, but he obviously can separate the difference, right, but I just didn't like all the, hey, I wanted to retire, you know, from a fight that, that came to, down to the wire, which a lot of people thought he lost, so I'm not alone, a lot of people are not alone, you know, and it, it affects his it affects the ring magazine's um, rankings. However, that belt is also up, you know, so that not only is the uh, undisputed, well, not the undisputed, but the heavyweight, the light heavyweight belt is up for grabs. Also, the ring magazine belt is also up for grabs. I don't know what, what it means for both gentlemen, but they're getting that belt, whoever wins. And, you know, and a lot of trash talk has went back and forth, you know, um, my predictions on the fight, I want to see if Andre Ward learned anything from round two. That's what I honestly want to see because he was clearly hurt. And, you know, it was like one of those situations where he did make some adjustments. He did he did nullify the right hand. He neutralized the right hand from Sergey. And Sergey couldn't land it the way he wanted to. But Sergey did win a lot of exchanges, even past round six. So I don't really see um, Andre Ward really doing anything with the massive onslaught, you know, that Sergey will have because Sergey will go. He's definitely will come for Andre. It'll definitely be a better fight. I don't think I don't think it'll go 12 rounds now. You know what I mean? Because if Sergey can get him out of there, he, he can hurt him like he did the second round. You know, I believe that he will get him out of there. I will. He'll find a way. You know, if he works the body, that can do wonders, right? But I'm not his coach, you know. But uh, Andre Ward, you know, he did a lot of rough housing in there, but that's Andre style. You know, he's a quick pop shotting guy. He uses angles. He's a great boxer. Has good speed. You know, so yeah, he he wants to get all those punches in. Now I know those body punches from Andre Ward was giving. Um, Kovalev some problems, but how much problems was they really giving him? You know what I mean? Um, but it was going to be a good fight either way, you know, and I'm glad that the fight has taken place. So no one can say, you know, no excuses, you know, no one can say that, uh, so, you know, Andre Ward's scared or whatever, you know, and hey, look at it this way. It could, could have just been um, a mind game, a mind trick. You know what I mean? Playing with his head because Sergey was really pissed off because he felt he won, you know, but that's obvious. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's understandable, too, you know, because it was a competitive fight. You had two of the best fighters at 175. Go at it. Best fighters in the world because Andre Ward was coming from 168 to 175. So 
you know, you got to take your hat off to him at the end of the day. The fight's being made. The, the, the contract was uh, negotiated. I'm not sure really about the money, but Andre Ward will get more money. He got more money for the first fight, you know, I mean, but for him to talk about the A side and all that, I don't think that's really necessary. You know what I mean? Because it's like, dude, you're fighting a guy that you had a good fight with, you know, let's play on equal playing fields. You know, the, mar the watered down Mayweather effect is in a full effect. Because that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a nicer, cleaner Mayweather. That's what Andre Ward, he, you know, he's portraying to me in certain aspects. He, he says things beautifully. Like, he's, he's more ar articulate than Floyd, but he says some of the same things. If you look back at what Andre Ward, you know, how he talks, the things he says, you know, he puts God first, which is great, but... The thing is, again, he's like a watered down version of Floyd Mayweather. You know, hey, I'm the A side. We all, we, you know, we call the shots. Dude, it's a fight. You guys are fighters. Who cares? You know, let your business partner speak that way for you. Let them handle that. You know, not, oh, well, it's going to be on our terms or whatever. I mean, you know, it was a good fight. I mean, you can't admit it was a good fight. It was a close fight. You know what I mean? So. Uh, for that, I really didn't care for, but Andre Ward is still the man, you know, and uh, you know he's still a force to be reckoned with. Um, and Kovalev, you know, he should really pick up the speed if he gets him hurt this time, you know. And I think really him hurting Andre Ward and early in the fight was kind of his downfall because when he knocked him down, and he didn't really hit him flush, but he, you know, he hit him with enough power to hurt him. In fact, he hurt him with a jab in the first round, so he knew he had the power uh, category on lock. However, I think him knocking down Andre Ward, you know, in the second really were, you know, it didn't do him any good. It hurt him, if anything, simply because he was like, OK, I got him in the second round. Um, I know I'm going to take him out. You know, it kind of reminds me of um, the Sugar Shane Mosley for Mayweather Jr. fight back in 2010, you know, and Sugar Shane clocked Floyd a couple great right hands, probably the hardest Floyd has ever been hit you know, on that side of his career, you know what I'm saying? On that side of the mountain. And it really did him more harm than good because he thought, okay, that punch is going to come and it never came because Floyd made the adjustments and that punch was never executed the same way throughout the whole fight. And it was kind of like that with Sergey Kovalev, but it, you know, it was, it was a lot more competitive than that fight, you know, but the fact that he did hurt the opponent early you know, could be a bad thing, you know, because it could mess with your ego in the wrong way. You know, you don't have, you don't fight as hard for it because you think, okay, it's there. It's easy, you know, but again, you're dealing with a, a skill for boxer with Andre Ward. He wasn't going to let himself get hit with a punch like that, but he knew why he got hit with that punch. You know, he was trying to counter on the wrong side, you know, right in front of a right hand by Kovalev and Kovalev really just threw that punch out there and caught him with it. And it wasn't on the end, and Kovalev really catches you on the end of his punches because he's a long rangey puncher. Kind of reminds me of Thomas Hearns or Carlos Monzon or those type of guys because they're long and rangey, right? So he didn't even catch him, catch uh, Andre Ward with that with that particular punch flush at the end of his punch. So he could have done a lot of um, damage if that would have been the case. But Andre Ward, you know, he. Um, adjusted, made the proper adjustments and, you know, rip shots to the body, did a lot of in-house fighting, made it competitive, you know, and then inched out a decision by one round from each judge. So they got to do it again. So I look forward to it, man. You guys, you know, um, I, I won't do my prediction video just yet. I'll look at the fight again, you know, and uh, you guys tell me what you think about it. And please show me your remarks. Please subscribe. You guys have been counterpunched. Peace.